Hello, everyone, and welcome to the stream. I am your host, Nessie, the captain of this ship, and your host for this evening. Today is going to be big. Um, as you can see in the title, we have someone else joining us for this crazy adventure called Improv. Um, I have somehow gotten GB to join us. Uh, he is coming in as a character, a new character, which will be fun and all that jazz. There, there's a point in time when I want to slap my moderators. This is one of those times. The fact that you used 100 points for that, Zeta. You realize I can see this, right? <laughs> ay, 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 ay. Anyways, a uh, little bit of admin stuff today on Patreon. The finale of the Queen series season one dropped, so definitely go check that out if you're part of Patreon. Of course, it's just a dollar, as low as a dollar to join, keeping that in mind. But it will be coming out on Wednesday, and if you haven't joined the server, please make sure to join the server and join our crew. Whoa. Um, because we'll be watching it in the lobby, actually, so definitely come and join us. You have a lot of points. I'm betting Spook has more, unironically. Anyways, let me bring the whole group in. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hey, Hello. Uh, I, heard, I heard three voices at the same time. It's great. Um, <laughs> anyway, let's introduce each other. I'm Nessie. I'm going to be playing myself, a vampire named Cecilia, and a hunter named Avery. GB. Um, well, as already introduced, I am GB, and I am here to play the Alpha. Ooh. Ooh. Zeta. <laughs> Hello, I am Zeta Audio. I am playing two vampire hunters. One is... What the one from this universe, lovable Connor, and the other is one from my own universe, Alistair. Ooh. And last but not least, Spook. Hey guys, I am Spooky Boy. I will be reprising my role for a vampire named Esteban, cheeky little bastard. And I'll be doing Samuel, a werewolf. Woot. Making sure everyone's levels are perfect for this. I had to boost everyone. Uh, Spook, say something again. Uh, something again, yes. Woot. Okay. Oh, everyone stretch before we start. Do the stretches. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh the back cracks. The oh, back cracks. I've been sitting at my desk for ah. way too long today already. Uh, it's great. Crack my neck. Oh, that felt great. Uh, anyways, let me uh turn my music on so we can hear the music. Um so before we begin, let's do a little bit of a recap on what has happened previously. so far. Previously. Previously on House and Guina Z. <laughs> we're gonna be keep we're gonna keep making those jokes. Hell yeah, we are. Yeah. Um. Oh. Subs. Gift Spook. Subs. Gift subs. I guess get you get all the get, 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 get all the get all the get all the shit out right now before we start. <laughs> You're like, oh. Oh. Uh, <laughs> uh. Oh. <laughs> you were saying. <laughs> Before I was so rudely interrupted. Um, gosh. Gosh. Anyways, my fucking God. Where was I? Even? Okay, synopses on what's happened so far in the series. We have the vampire hunter, uh, myself, Nessie, 
uh, has come to this local area to investigate bodies that were found in a local dump. I then go to get an apartment with the lovely Spark and the lovely Phoenix, where at some point Phoenix suggests we go into a haunted house. The haunted house is not abandoned, though. It has three lovely vampires in it. These vampires take us hostage, and we have to be saved by the vampire hunters, Emmett, Connor, and Avery. This is when those characters are introduced to us. During all that, we find out that Phoenix is Ambrose's child, one of the vampire's child children. And Ambrose, in the last session, has taken a hold of Nessie, taken her hostage, and using her as a bargaining chip. Phoenix is under the impression that he has let her go. That's not the case. The lovely Esteban has taken a hold of her and is quite intrigued with her. Where we are currently is right outside the club, where are three vampire hunters, one being a werewolf, is off to find Nessie, following their scent. And here we go. We are outside the club. <laughs> yes. Outside the club with the lovely Samuel, Avery, and Alistair. How much longer is it going to take us to get there? I don't know. Sam, have you caught her scent? <sighs> no, not yet. But it's definitely faint. We're just there. Just a little bit there. Hmm. If this is going to take a while, just let me. Alistair pulls out his phone and starts typing away at a text. Hmm. Sam. He gets... Hmm? Go ahead, Zeta. He gets a response back and does a, a short, a small, weird frown at it, and then puts his phone away. As soon as he mm. puts his phone away, Avery is looking out with a very suspicious look. Very suspicious. At the same time that Alistair puts away the phone. Sam perks up. Wait. Why do I know that scent? Suddenly, Sam? Suddenly. Wait. Wait. No, that... What? Before he continues any further, he gets a phone call. Yeah. Hello? Oh. What? That would... No, what? <sighs> okay, I'll be right there. He hangs up the phone and turns to the rest of the group. Look, guys, as much as I would love to continue... Something... Something came up, so I really have to go. Uh, okay, Sam. Y everything okay? <sighs> I don't know. I'll find out sooner or later, but for now, you can follow. I already know where that scent is at. Just keep going a little bit north, and it, it should be around there. Uh, okay. If you need anything, don't be afraid to reach out. I will. Thanks. Yeah. Hmm. Well, there goes our method of tracking. <sighs> well, what are the chances that they're at where that little pink light is? I guess it's worth checking out. 
Hmm. Okay. We go from where Sam has just left the other two to inside the club now. Where Esteban is contemplating what to do with Nessie at this point. Esteban paces back and forth, observing Nessie, who is giving Esteban a major stink eye. Hmm. What to do with you, my wonderful little pet? Hmm, what to do with so many options. Maybe I could get to taste a little bit of your blood. Or... He stops pacing and starts walking up to the cage. Maybe I have other things in mind. Over my dead body. <laughs> There's the feistiness that I so adore about you, my little pet. Que gran maravilla. Such marvelous. As he approaches the cage, Nessie perks up, about to engage in a fight or flight response. Esteban notices. <laughs> it's okay, my little pet. He says as he opens the cage and steps inside. I'll make sure to treat you so nicely. Come closer and I will be forced to kill you. <laughs> oh, that feistiness never ceases to amaze me. Hell, I might say that I'm starting to enjoy this. Nessie looks around, frightened, trying to figure out a way out. At this point, Esteban is closing the distance very slowly. <laughs> that fear in your eyes, my pet. You have no idea how much I want to do to you. As Esteban gets closer to Nessie, she takes the opportunity to attempt to dodge past him, going for the door. Esteban stumbles back, but he manages to stop Nessie. <laughs> well, it looks like you're more than feisty. It seems that you have some fight in you. Mm. Every single moment that you do, every action that you take, excites me even more, my pet. She tries to do a roundhouse kick on him, twirling as fast as she can, hoping that her foot hits his head. In the blink of an eye, Esteban manages to catch it, smiling. Mm. <laughs> he tosses the foot outside and starts getting closer to Nessie. Nessie tumbles out of the way. As close as she is to the door, she attempts and stumbles up, running towards the door as fast as she can. And every single time she tries, Esteban always beats her to it. Mere Fuck. inches before getting to the door. But. Hmm. I have a feeling this will be pretty fun. You have already managed to find a way to slip past, but truth be told. I can do this all day, my pet. We temporarily go back to 
the vampire hunter outside the club. I don't see why you need backup to fight one vampire. Well, Alistair, I'd like to point out the obvious. This one would... is not that weak. And I've told you I've dealt with worse. If your database was complete, you'd know I'd have dealt with a vampire lord. <laughs> Let me get this straight. You state that you have fought one of the nine vampire lords? There's no way in hell. You weren't at the war. I have. There was no war, and there's, there's no there way. There was. Fifty years ago. There have only been two vampire lords that have been killed by humans in history. And one of them I definitely wasn't by you. I personally took out two of them. Personally. There used to be hundreds. Whatever, we can sort through this later. I'm going in. Alistair! No, I can deal with this. I highly doubt that. Avery catches up to Alistair, trying to keep up with him. We now return to the scuffle between Esteban and Nessie, taunting her all the way. <laughs> ay, 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 mi mascota. I truly am having the best fun with you. And trust me, you will not get away, even if you're not human. You see, Esteban, there is one thing that you underestimate. The okay. fact that I'm trained to kill bitches like you. And she just slides between his legs like a little penguin and climbs up and rushes out the cage. Esteban, a bit startled, tries to catch up with her. But at this point, she's already got the door open. Nessie, Nessie pushes. Go ahead. I was going to say, you go ahead. As Nessie pushes open the door and starts stepping out of the cage, Esteban, with blinding speed, decides to tackle her, knocking over a lamp. Off me! <laughs> you have such speed. Maybe perhaps I was wrong underestimating you, mi mascota, but that doesn't mean that I won't hold back. Cutting back to Avery and Alistair, who hear the lamp hit the ground. Fuck. Looks like I made the right call coming in. They both run towards where the sound came from and see the scene before them. Before Esteban notices either of their presence, Alistair lets a single shot from his gun through the air, which strikes Esteban in, in the back. We now go... To somewhere in the forest. Where the Alpha is waiting for someone. Slowly approaching is Cecilia. Mm. 
don't, you know, speed up or anything. You don't want to hurt yourself. I don't appreciate how you're talking to me. You know, all you wolves are the same. Exactly. I have had to attempt to keep Sam off your ass as well as my own. And I don't appreciate it. I can't keep running from him all the time. What do you want me to do about it? Maybe get him off my ass? I would appreciate that tremendously. Personally, I think Esteban just should have ended your whole pack and been done with all this. But no. He has to play his games. Well, I both... I think you and I both know that's not going to happen. So, you ready to get started? I guess. Right. Oh, I think I hear your pup coming up here soon. Sounds like he's having trouble finding your scent. Mm. It'll be fine. While this is going on, you can hear footsteps in the background crunching leaves as Sam is trying to look for the alpha. Where the hell is that smell coming from? That, that that, that is my alpha. I know that for a fact that there's another scent. Hmm. <clears throat> what? Where? <laughs> All of a sudden, he catches a familiar scent. Wait. <clears throat> I know exactly who that scent belongs to. Cecilia. Where is that bitch? All of a sudden, he starts surging forward, trying to look for the source. Oh, I think he's angry. Hmm. Can't imagine why. Oh, All Sam. Sudden... Pleasure of you no. to join us. Cecilia. And... You. What? The oh, Sam. fuck? Uh, why? What? Would you believe it if I told you there's a lot more to this than meets the eye? You... What is this? It's a lot of things, really. Oh. No, 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 no. This... No. This cannot be happening. No. No, don't tell me. Don't... Do not tell me. Don't tell you what, what you Sam? No. Are you really working with her this whole time? Consider Sam, there are certain things you can never me. understand. I might make you understand one day, but today is not that day. Now cut back to the club, where Alistair manages to unload his revolver, a single shot hitting Esteban in the back. Esteban kind of Shrugs it off, looks at Alistair. Oh. Unpleasant company has arrived, it seems. Normally, Silver does a, does a lot more to you guys. Mm. You call that Silver? You call that a bullet? <laughs> That was absolutely nothing, dear boy. You want to try me? 
Your Come influence on, then. is pissing me off. Come on, then. Esteban immediately lunges towards Alistair. Alistair pulls out a needle and attempts to stick it into one of Esteban's veins. Esteban manages, immediately dodges, and tries an attack. A little haymaker, aiming for Alistair's head. Alistair grapples onto Esteban's arm and sends an electric shock through it with his soul burning. Oh. Uh, mm. <laughs> Very neat trick. Honestly, tickles. <sighs> Want to try again? <laughs> Your arrogance is delicious. Trust me, killing you will be a massive pleasure. Better vampires have tried. <laughs> I like this one. Such attitude. Let's see how long that lasts. Alistair goes to take another shot with his gun. And it hits Esteban's shoulder. He stumbles back, shrugging it off, and immediately goes on the offensive. While that fight is going on, Avery rushes over to Nessie, who's on the ground. I'm fine. I'm fine. Just go help whoever... You can explain it to me later. We need to get out of here and fast. I don't know what's going on, but they have Phoenix. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. A hundred percent. Let's just try to get out of here as fast as we can. Nessie and Avery join the fight. Devon takes note of the situation and pauses. All of a sudden, a wide grin can be seen on his face. Something inhuman. <laughs> Do you honestly think a three versus one would work? Oh, this is such precious. Hmm. Esteban pauses real quick for a sec. Stares at Avery. Hmm. You look familiar. Have we met? I don't believe so. Hmm. No matter. You three are all the same. Nothing more than playthings. Oh. Esther kind of scoffs and just says, I've heard that before. Maybe I'll start with the loudmouth one. Quicker than anyone can notice this, Esteban starts lunging towards Alistair. Uh, Alistair takes the attack, but put, grips his hand on... Esteban's throat and set, sets it on fire with soul, soul burning. Esteban pushes the hand away and starts grasping at his own neck. Mm, that was a new feeling. Not entirely new, but very pleasant. Oh, and he's a sadist. He's a masochist, too. Most vampires are, Alistair. <laughs> it's actually a first for me, a compliment. I'm too flattered. Do you have anything original to do? Well, what's starting to have plans with my little pet that you see right next to you. Points a finger at Nessie. 
But since we have two uninvited guests, I might as well have my fun now. We go from the fight back into the forest where Sam is just getting more and more irate about the situation that's going on. I... Wait, no. Just... just Why? What? It, what? It's for the good of the pack. How? How is this good for the pack? Wait a minute. Yeah. Oh. Oh. No, this is too much. Oh. No, 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 no. Good for the pack. Blah, 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 blah. Is that all you ever talk about? Good for the <sighs> pack this. Good for the pack that. <sighs> it is good for the pack. Let me tell you something. Esteban may be strong, but I guarantee I can still kick your ass. Try me, sweet cakes. <sighs> Unfortunately, that's not on the table right now. Esteban seems to trust you, so I have to as well. Hearing this, Sam has a look of shock on his face. Trusting Esteban? What the hell do you mean by that? Do you have any idea how powerful Esteban is, Sam? Do you have any idea what is... what we're up against? Sort of mental thought. Esteban's no two-bit vampire. There's no fighting out of this one. Vampire? What? <laughs> I can call you a lot of things, sweetheart. I don't know. No, why? It's the way that you... Are you telling me that... You sold us out? It wasn't like that. Uh, I mean, <laughs> the way that you're regarding Esteban, it sounds like you look at him as something bigger than you. That's because he is. <laughs> you want me to be honest? Esteban can kiss the hairiest parts of my ass. I don't care if he's strong enough. I am willing to take him down. And now I'm hearing that my own alpha is in cahoots with him? If you really think you can take him down, you've doomed the entire pack the second you take my place. Doom the pack? Take your place? Wait! What exactly have you done? What? You're talking to about like he's like is Esteban your partner? What? What is this? What? Why? No. He's not my partner. He's the one thing that can beat me. While this conversation is happening, Sam has a horrible realization. Wait a minute. That smell. The club. Wait. All of a sudden, he's starting to connect the dots together. The missing bodies. All of it. Why we couldn't track them down. Why I couldn't track anyone down. Was it you? Ding, ding, ding. Oh, it looks like the pup is actually smart. I'm shocked. Samuel, for the first time, turns pale at that realization. You... You did all this? You? My own alpha... The one that's supposed to look after his own pack. You're the one who did all this? That phrase, look after his own pack. That is exactly what I just did. If we dig too deep into this thing, then the whole pack 
You can kiss the whole thing goodbye. Dad, you already endangered the pact the moment you and it's just no! I don't believe this. You actually have the fucking nerve to sit here in front of me and tell me that you sold us out just so that you can help Esteban. For what exactly? Protection? Really? Yes. <laughs> Stam sits there stoic and shocked. <laughs> This has got to be a joke. I am not hearing this. I am not. I am. This is no. No. This cannot be serious. You have no idea. You see, Sam. This whole thing. We really didn't want you to know right away. I'll be honest. You have given me quite a bit of a chase. I probably could thank Avery for that one, but oh well. All you are, and all we want you to do at this moment, is to fall in line like a good little dog that you are. Okay? <laughs> yeah, that's really your intention if that's really the alpha's intention then both of you can fuck right off i'm done with this conrad please take care of him i'm gonna go find esteban and hope that he hasn't fucked everything up at this point she's gonna pat him on the shoulder and walk away <laughs> Sam tries to take a step forward, but then pauses. So, I'm going to take a gander and say that you do not want me to follow her, even though I really want to slit her fucking throat. I know you do. The fact of the matter is, you walked in too far. You've stepped in mud that's just too deep, Sam. And now, there's only one way this ends. <laughs> With all the bullshit that I had to hear, this has to be the top cake. Unabsolutely believable. You know what? You're right. This is gonna end. Conrad, I will challenge you to a fight. Not only for me to chase after Cecilia, but I will step in as the next alpha. I accept this challenge. Samuel pops his neck and starts getting to a fighting stance. Whatever Esteban tried to do to you, I promise you, I'll make it 10,000 times worse. <laughs> I'm gonna say this too much. If only you knew. Sam lets out a deep growl. You can kiss the fattest part of my ass. And I will take that title away from you, and I'll show you what it means to be a true alpha! We then hop true back alpha. to the club. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. We then hop back to the club, where the fight continues in Club Euphoria. Esteban is actually being pushed back by the trio. Not too much of a concern, but it does bring him some intriguement. <laughs> well, I have to say, I'd be lying if I would say that this wasn't fun because this is a lot more entertaining. I'm glad you're enjoying yourself, but this is over. Alistair goes to take another shot. Shot miraculously hits Esteban right in the forehead, pushing him back. And he actually trips on himself. Avery takes the opportunity to advance forward, and she lands a nice square punch against his cheek. Esteban grunts a little bit, 
a chuckles. <laughs> this is a lot more entertaining than I thought, he says as he takes Avery's hand and delivers a straight hook to her. Oh my, oh my. He turns to Alistair. Tell me, Pest, what is your name? Alistair Reed. Maybe you've heard of me. Killed a vampire lord a couple years ago. Esteban has a little bit of a confusion spread across his face. Alistair. Hmm. Well, you do see well equipped to hunt. But I don't think I've heard of you before. Well, uh, I'm taken aback by that. Uh, it's, it's not often a vampire doesn't recognize me. Hmm. You do have that special scent. I can't really put a finger on it, but... You know what? I really don't care. I just want you dead. Give it your best shot. <laughs> Esteban immediately lunges towards Alistair, aiming for his neck. Nessie takes this opportunity to make to shoulder check him, lunging forward and hoping to trip him. Esteban takes notice and immediately dodges, but not before turning to Nessie. <laughs> oh, wow, my little pets. I'm guessing that you want a part of the action as well. We're going to take you down, and I am going to thoroughly enjoy this. <laughs> well, that's at least one of two things that'll happen. Esteban immediately lunges towards Nessie. Avery takes this opportunity to ball up all of her magic from her hand. All of the energy. It starts to turn ice cold into the room. And she takes the opportunity to blast it right at Esteban. Esteban stops himself feeling the ice cold and looks to see a huge ball of energy heading towards him. Before he could do anything, he notices Nessie starting to feel a little dizzy. Nessie collapsed to the ground and all of a sudden a bright white light engulfs the room. And a, loud, and a loud bang can be heard nearly a block over. The magic seemed to have ricocheted against each other. Esteban, who got knocked to the ground with a shockwave, sits up and starts assessing the situation. Hmm, he's thinking to himself. That was... something. I don't know what, but... I feel like if this keeps going on, I might actually be outnumbered. All of a sudden, Esteban manages to get up and flees the scene. As the Alist dust settles. Alistair picks himself up after being knocked down by the shockwave. It would have been nice knowing you were a mage coming into this. Nessie doesn't respond. You couldn't have used that earlier? 
Shut up, Alistair. Nessie, wake up. He's been oh, beating you're... hell. Let me see. He checks for a pulse. She's she's still alive. She's just unconscious. God damn it. Esteban got a free too. Shit. Let's get back to headquarters. Hopefully there we can figure out exactly what happened. Avery looks just as confused and concerned. Unsure about what just happened herself. Guessing from your reaction, she isn't a mage. None of us are. Alistair gives a look of confusion, but shakes it off of his face. Let's just get back to your headquarters. Understood. We now go back to the forest. Sam and the Alpha are still staring at each other, with Sam's burning hatred clearly visible. He's ready to strike, but at this point, he has to assess the situation carefully. He still has to know why the Alpha did what he had to do. So he starts pushing. <sighs> I'm trying so hard not to rip off your head right now, but... <sighs> Tell me why... Out of all the people, out of all the alliances you could have done, why did you do it with him? <sighs> because out of everyone there is, there's only one person out there stronger than me. You bullshit. This cannot be the Alpha that I'm talking to. The Alpha that I knew. The Alpha that I knew would have a heart of steel. He would kick every single person's ass as long as it meant for the safety of his own pack. You're this damn person... right I'd kick the asses of every single one of them. But Esteban... Esteban is something else. He actually beat you, didn't he? If he can beat me, he can destroy the pack. Is that something you want? Sam ponders for a minute. So then, this whole mess, all of this was to protect our pack from Esteban. And what exactly have you been doing to help him? Whatever it takes, as long as it doesn't bother the pack. Fail. Because I'm part of that pack, and I'm feeling really bothered by what you're doing right now. Well, what are you going to do about it? <laughs> Don't you fucking say that to me. <laughs> Don't you dare. Say that to me like you have half of the balls that I thought you were. I really cannot believe that this whole time, you were the reason why I could never reach Cecilia. You were the reason why I could never complete my own personal objective. It was because you were throwing the sense off so I could just blindly follow whatever I wanted. Believe me, if it wasn't for Esteban, I would have let you go in full force. But the way things are right now, that can't happen, Sam. I don't get it. I know there's something more to that. You care for the pack. I can see it. I know it. I feel it. But you're not telling me the full story. You really aren't. Because I know for a fact, to help out that fuck mess of a vampire, you had to do something for him. I had to do a lot of things for him. You're going to have to be a lot more specific than that. Like I mentioned before. 
Harry managed to connect the dots. Those bodies. The ones that were missing. I'm gonna take a gander and say that you're the one that delivered it to him. Right? Yeah. I'm so was. Thing, bitch. Those were innocent people. Those were people that had lives. That had jobs. That had a future. And you literally kidnapped them and fed them to Esteban? They are not part of the pack. I don't care for their lives. I care for that for our lives. That is what matters. Aren't you the great big alpha, huh? Selling us out by feeding innocent people to Esteban. That's a real big alpha, huh? That's the best you can do. This is something I do for the pack. Not for them. I don't care about what they do in their spare time. I don't care about what those innocent people, or so you believe, do. I care for what happens to the pack. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I really would say that I admire you for trying to defend us. But I have been on that case for a long time. I was literally turning corner by corner about where those bodies disappeared, where everyone else disappeared. And here, you're telling me that you were the one giving those bodies for Esteban. All for our so-called protection. <sighs> All of a sudden, Sam starts getting another thought. Hold on. He recalls a vague memory where a situation happened in HQ. Something else happened, I know for a fact. There was another person, another ally of ours. And he was supposed to stay put until he went missing all of a sudden. As he starts delving into that memory, he recollects everything, including a familiar scent. I passed by that room before. There was a smell. It was too... All of a sudden, the color rushes from his face as he connects the two dots again. Conrad, don't tell me. You were the one that freed him. Perhaps. So what if I did? All of a sudden... Emotions start flying out of Sam. <laughs> Fuck you, idiot! You let an innocent person into the clutches of another vampire! Then let us know. Kiss my ass! I met that guy before. He was one of Nessie's close friends. You don't know who she is exactly, and if you do, I really could care less. But he was way so close to Nessie. Nessie is a close friend of mine, and you're I don't telling even me. Know Nessie. How, you, how do you expect me to feel about that? Hmm? At this point, I don't give three shits just of how you feel. Out. You're right. To you, she's another bystander, but to me, she's something more. I'm very sorry you feel that way. Shut the fuck up. You feel nothing right now you feel absolutely nothing sure so if that's what you want to believe <laughs> and they tell me exactly what i'm supposed to believe here you are standing right in front of me telling me that you were the reason those bodies disappeared you were the reason why esteban was getting his stupid ass blood bags and whatever the fuck he calls his pets. You're the reason why this innocent kid, this phoenix guy, is the reason why he's in the vampire clutches. And you're telling me that I'm supposed to believe what I want to believe, right? <laughs> That's honestly the biggest, most unbelievable thing I have heard. Do you know what it means to be the alpha? <laughs> Clearly, I wouldn't turn my own back. It means you have to make the tough decisions. The decisions no one else wants to make. 
here. You're right. Esteban did kick my ass. And now, I have to fall in line. You think I want that? Hmm? You think I want to be in debt to Esteban? Sam ponders there for a minute. <sighs> you know, in a way, I can kind of understand. I don't know exactly how Esteban managed to beat you. I don't know exactly why you thought it was a good idea to take his offer for our protection. But you falling in line for someone else? <laughs> that doesn't really speak alpha to me. Well, what are you going to do about it? Sam starts getting into a fighting stance. You know what? You know exactly what I'm about to do with him. I will make sure that he will never be part of this pack again. And I will make sure personally, I'll take over your spot and I'll make sure how to run it correctly. Here's to 20 months and more. I hope this isn't loud. <laughs> if you take my position as Alpha, you're gonna have to do the exact same thing as me, buddy. <laughs> Trust me, the first thing that I'll do when I'm Alpha is I'll actually make sure that my pack is being looked after. And then I will track down Esteban and I will rip out his throat! Then you know nothing about looking after the pack, pup. <laughs> right. Sure I don't, Mr. Fall in Line. We all have our roles to play. So, shall we get started? Yeah, let's go. We now turn back to the society where Nessie, Avery, and Alistair have just arrived. Connor, who's been at the base all day, notices that the, the, they come through the door and just says, Oh, you're back. Did, did you get him? Define get him. Nessie uh, stumbles in confused. Uh, at least she got Nessie back. Uh, mm. 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 Hmm. Does anyone know what just happened? I'm confused. I'm very confused. Alistair. Alistair says, No idea what happened. From the way it looks of it, you did magic, but your boss said you're not a mage, so I'm not sure I'm that's possible. I'm telling you, Alistair. There are other magical creatures other than mages. Hell, I'm part fairy. I, I, I have other type of magic. I don't use spells. Fairies don't exist. Avery's wings pop out from behind her. What, what do you call these? It's an interesting trick, but... You can touch them if you'd like. Just be gentle. Alistair goes to touch the wings. Uh... They, they feel like paper thin. They're, they're there. Like... I'm not full. So I can't live to like a thousand years, but I'm older than what I look, which we've already discussed that. Huh? I... I thought you were just a mage. No. 
Now, on the other hand, I don't know what Ness is. Your paperwork has always said human. I know. I, I've always thought I was. Well, I've um, never seen anything like that, so... Neither have I. Like, that's not even like Avery's magic. It's so... Connor is... Connor is confused and says, can you, can you tell me what happened? What happened? Uh, uh, okay, I'll start from the beginning here. So... You know, Avery gave me the order that I could go back to our apartment. I went back and I showered. I made sure that the doors were locked. I made sure that all my guard systems were up. Everything. Like, like I'm supposed to. Somehow, Ambrose got past that. I don't know how. I don't know how it happened. I don't know who did it. And at this point, Phoenix was still at the society from my understanding. So it's not like our codes could have gotten to Ambrose. I'm just, I'm kind of flabbergasted about it, to be honest. Well, I got done with the shower. I was in the process of actually packing Phoenix's things. When I sensed him, I felt him in the room. There was no one there when I walked in. I double, I triple, I quadruple made sure of it. I was not strong enough to fight him. These vampires are strong. They're stronger than the average ones that I've fought. And again, this is even after me fighting them in the past. There's also another vampire involved now. Phoenix, I guess, got a call from Ambrose from my phone. God, Phoenix. That's a whole nother issue. We need to find Phoenix, like, fast. I don't know what Ambrose has in store for him. Connor looks to Avery to ask, to wordlessly ask, do we tell her about the security footage? Nancy, we have a spy. Someone let Phoenix out. I didn't give an order to allow him to leave. Huh? So, he left without a security detail. That's why he got there. God, oh my god, oh my god. Oh, what what, what did Ambrose say about... Oh, they were going to some weird location, unknown location. I, uh... Fuck. God damn it. My my brain's been so rattled. I think Esteban is connected to the killings. I think all of this has been connected weirdly, but I don't know how. Alistair asks, what killings? Oh god, how long ago was I sent here? I was posted here about a year ago. Now, it's been almost a year. Bodies started popping up at this construction site. It was condemned. And as they started digging up the soil... Bodies were appearing. 
They've dug about half the area and a hundred have been found. All drained of their blood. A hundred? A hundred, yes. This operation apparently has been going on for a very long time. I was sent ahead of my team. Connor, Emmett, and Avery. And... While here, I met two people. I became close friends with them. Unfortunately, both have been hurt because of me. It sucks. Because of my connection with them, I got them involved in this mess. How did I not know about that? How do a hundred bodies show up and I don't know about it? Alistair, like I said, I'm unsure about your connection on this one. I really don't know. Look. When stuff like this happens, this is I'm the guy the Vampire Council goes to to keep it secret. I would have known about this. Vampire Council? Yes, what about... Th the Vampire Council are the enemies, Alistair. Like, they're the ones who have hosted all of this. Hell, all vampires have some sort of lineage connection to the main nine families. There are more than nine vampires on the Vampire Council. There are only nine. No, there are definitely more. I met with them last week to get my contract. But... Everyone starts looking at Alistair very suspiciously. What, what do you don't... mean contract from them? Don't tell me you're one of those vampire... Look, vampire hunters work for them all the time. They just do stuff to keep themselves secret. Pay, it's a paying job. Alistair, we don't work with the Vampire Council. We were at war with them 50 years ago. There was no war. I keep telling you this. Avery goes to the computer and types in and shows the pictures of the battlefield. Her in full uniform holding up a dead vampire. It's a nice photoshop you've got there, but my family history would have mentioned it if there was a war. There has been no war. There has been a war, Alistair. Alistair, we were all taught about it. Like, that's like a core of, like, our training. Who are you? Your records should know about me. Two years ago, I killed the vampire lord known as Alvarius. That was an event that should... There's, there's been no vampires named like that. Ever. All the vampire lords have weird spirit names like that. It's... No. There is... Orsini. Uh, there's Sanguinus, which we've had a run-in with. Their lineage. Uh, Villaneva. Which, Esteban, love him. Laurent, uh, Sevenson, Spalding, Taylor. Those are just normal names. Yeah, because they hide themselves in human, like around human beings. On purpose. That's why it makes our job a whole lot harder. Look, 
whatever wrong ideas about the vampire council you have, I'm I'm leaving. I have my own vampire to catch. Avery's gonna step in front of him and have her hand on her pistol. I don't think I can let you leave. Do you really want to try this? I don't think you'll be able to get past me. <sighs> you can't just keep me here forever. Until I find out exactly what's going on here, I'm going to keep you here as long as I need. And as long as you keep me here, there's a vamp there's a single vampire right there that I've been tasked to kill that is going to shatter the illusion of secrecy. We can deal with it. It's our jobs. Nessie rushes forward and tries to stop both of them. Guys, just calm down. We can figure this out. Like... All of a sudden, a door bursts open. And as every head turns to look for the source of direction, Sam comes in, severely injured, and stumbling to the ground. <sighs> <sighs> uh, hey, uh, hopefully I'm not. Ah, uh, okay. Connor very obviously notices Sam's wound and rushes over to help. Are you okay? Nessie rushes forward too. Sammy, are you fine? What, what, what happened? I'm good. <laughs> so... I guess it turns out that uh, that I'm the new alpha now. Uh, uh. All of a sudden, he collapses to the ground. And that's the end of the session. Woo! Yay. Cliffhanger! Whoa. Cliffhanger! Whoa! <laughs> so, TV, how did you enjoy your first improv session? <laughs> <laughs> um, it was definitely something. I have to admit that was that was interesting. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. Was a little shorter oh, than oh. normally, I think, but that's okay. I'm fine with doing shorter session to work your way into stuff. Mm. Yeah. Mm. But yeah. <sighs> All sorts of fun. We've Dude, we've that... left a lot of shit open, unfortunately. I think we did, yeah. Yeah, we kind of had to curve some parts but all in all i think that should be good we did hit major points so yeah 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 i'm trying to think of everything that could be one second i know gb holy fuck man i don't know if you were hearing it but i was like a bit too into that whole discussion with the alpha. <laughs> you really got into it no it was cool <laughs> Yeah, I, well, I really enjoyed listening to, to that. Yeah, I, I kind of just sat back and I was like, I'm not going to interrupt this. That's why I kind of wanted to get Cecilia out of there a scene early, because I'm like, I can see this kind of getting, like, it, it, it's getting there. Like, oh my gosh. Perfect. Gotta say, perfect, you guys. Oh, cool. So much. So much to get into. So, we, we we've saved Nessie. But now we're at the situation where the vampires are nursing their wounds. And Sam is the new alpha. So, yeah. Ooh. And let's not, let's not forget Phoenix is still captured. Oh, yeah. Phoenix is still captured. There, there's a little bit of a problem there, isn't there? Hmm. How are we going to get him back? When did we say the next session was going to be? 
I next think, Sunday. I think next we Sunday. said next week. Yeah, the twenty yeah, eighth. The twenty eighth, four p.m. EST. I almost said CST. EST. Hmm. <sighs> so same time essentially. Woo. Same time, same channel. <laughs> same channel, same situation. Yeah, all that jazz. We'll finally be getting into what does this mean for Sam? What is Alistair? What? Huh? Alistair working for the council? What? Nani? Nani? <laughs> <laughs> Such it confusion. Is such confuse. But anyways, I think that's the end of the show. Next yes. week on Sanguinus Z. <laughs> well, also, I love the fact that Ionic, I have to call you out. <laughs> Thank you for the resub. Love you, bro. <laughs> it, it started singing, uh, it started rickrolling me about uh. 30 minutes ago, and I was just like, yeah, probably should have turned off sound alerts. Didn't think about it. Oh, well. I hope I spooked everyone by doing that. <laughs> <sighs> anyway. Have a wonderful evening. Stay safe. Remember, uh, audio came out on uh, today on Patreon. Audio officially comes out on YouTube on Wednesday. And next week, we'll be right back here to do this again. Stay safe, everyone. Bye! Bye! Bye!